All right, guys, here we go, number 10. So we have a CD-ROM. Let's, let's picture a CD-ROM here. So there's your CD. Okay. And um, what happens right is a laser reads patterns off of the, the CD-ROM. So what it says is that for a particular music track, this, the laser, the track starts at 2.7 centimeters from the center. So that's about here. So that's 0 0.027 meters is that distance. And now the thing spins and the laser progressively moves out. And then the end of the track happens at 0 0.055 meters away. So it starts out here, right, and it ends up at a greater distance from the center. Okay. And so, but it needs to keep the same linear velocity the whole time. So as, it, as the track is passing by the laser, it needs to pass back at 1.4 meters per second, meters per second. So that means the rate of rotation is going to need to change based upon um, where, how far you are out from the center. So part A wants to know what is the angular velocity, so what letter is angular velocity? Delta and then like this, the O with the line. Or angular velocity. Oh, no, that's the W. Omega, right? Yeah, omega. Okay. So we want to find omega. Okay, now we have two ways to get omega. Are you taking the machines, please? Yeah. It's open now. Now, we have two ways to find omega. We could either do delta theta over t, or we could do v over r, right? Either way. Yeah, right, so we have v. We also know r is 0.027. So in that case, we're going to go with this equation. We're going to do omega is v over r. So 1.4 over 0.027. And so that gives us 51.9 radians per second. So that's the angular rotation when the laser is on the inside. Now for B, omega equals 1.4 over new radius, 0.055. So that's going to be 25.5 radians per second. Right? So now the rate of rotation slowed down because we're further out from the center. C wants to know what's the acceleration. So the fact that it's slowing down the entire time means that it's accelerating the entire time. Which way is the disk spinning? Clockwise or counterclockwise if we're looking at it? Counterclockwise. How do you know that? Because it said that it goes down the arrow is positive. Right. So if the angular velocities are positive, which they are for us, then this was counterclockwise. That means the acceleration, the alpha, has to be negative, right? Because it's going to be slowing down. So if something's slowing down, remember the, direct, the, the sign of the acceleration is opposite that of the velocity. Positive will make it here. Okay, so now we want to find alpha. We don't know the linear acceleration, so we've got to find alpha using the two angulars we got. So alpha will be omega f minus omega i over time, right? That's delta omega. So it's going to be 25.5 minus 51.9 over, it says it does that in 76 minutes. So that converts to 4,560 seconds. And so you solve that, and you got negative 5.8 times 10 to the minus 3 radians per second. 